Peace. My name is Jaquette May. I'm here with Talk Pittsburgh uh, in the section of Pittsburgh named Bluff, also known as Uptown. We are talking to Mr. James Simon of James Simon Sculpture. How you doing? I'm pretty good. How you doing? I'm good. I am cold, but I'll be okay. Yes. So we're going to talk to you about basically um, your neighborhood Bluff. I, I've never really heard of the name Bluff, but it's all good. I thought it was on the hill. But so what do you like about your neighborhood? I'm actually, most people refer to it as Uptown these days. Mm-hmm. I figured that. But, um, um, yeah, I, I came to um, Uptown um, about 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I was looking for a place to live, looking for a building, and I saw this building, which is maybe you'll mm-hmm. see out behind your truck here. Mm-hmm. And um, and it was I was able to buy it, so I moved in and fixed it up and created a studio. Um, th- the wonderful thing about Uptown particularly is the location Mm -hmm. you know it's close to downtown close to the south side uh, close to Oakland you know so that's the one really cool thing about it and um and and when when I'm when I when I first came here this street this is Gist Street here it was most it was lined with prostitutes all the time um it's this is in 2000 so there's lots of drug drug dealing and prostitution and 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 this was the place to come for that and then um when we when we moved when i moved in here um my my buddy bought the house across the street and we're we're both artists so we said well let's put art out on the street um and so so we we started we started to create um um art on the walls and sculptures on the streets and stuff and slowly um People took interest a little more interest in the neighborhood, and and the prostitutes started to leave, and now people come to see the art instead of to see the prostitutes. Right, so. that is beautiful. Yeah. I know I was walking, mm-hmm. I was coming into this and neighborhood, and I was just looking at all the beautiful stuff that y'all have painted. I love art, so yeah. that's great. So you, it seems like you already changed what you would like to about your neighborhood. Is there anything else you would like to change about it? Um, I think it's just the beginning, actually. You know, you know, th- this this was a, a a a part of Pittsburgh that was really thriving in the in, in the, you know in its past history. The yeah. Fifth Avenue High School, right, yes, two blocks away, right. is one of the that's most right. fantastic buildings in the city. That's right. And uh, and my my parents, my my dad actually went to the Fifth Avenue High School and grew up around here. And, and and another interesting thing about this area is it's very it's always been diverse you know Italians Jews African Americans all kinds of people mixed in so it's it's had a, a uniquely um, mixed uh, flavor in, in students and 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 so forth so um, I mean and, and it still is you know and yeah so that's cool so I mean I could tell that. Uh, Uptown slash buff bluff. I'm sorry. Um, it's just a lot of uh, residential areas. But are there any landmarks in bluff? Uh, there's landmarks like um, um, Duquesne University is mm-hmm. here. If that's right. what you mean by landmark, right. you know. And Mercy Hospital's um, been here for a long time too. Mm-hmm. You know? And um, um, and then of course Fifth Avenue High School right. is is, right, is right. probably the 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 most spectacular landmark of uptown you know cool. so uptown's on it's on the move now you know it, it, it is it's had a hard time for a long time mm-hmm. now people are taking interest in it and fixing up buildings and, mm-hmm. and stuff you know so it's it's getting better that's great so yeah. actually so in this neighborhood in this community would you be considered a local hero or are there any other local heroes that you would feature that definitely made bluff slash uptown what it is today I'd probably be considered an oddball, more than <laughs> <laughs> a local hero. Oddball. I'm an oddball. I love being an oddball. <laughs> um, I think that uh, uh, there's still there's still some great old timers here. Like there's uh, um, just on on Tustin right here. There's still several families that have been here for generations, mm. and 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 that's always great when you still have some uh, people that have know know the whole history of. Of, of uptown, I've been mm-hmm. here a long time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, that's cool. So it's the basically it's the families, the generations that are the local heroes of this community, and I think that's really, really amazing. So you were just yeah. talking about the potential. I mean, do you have any idea what could become 
from Bluff for right now? I mean, it looks amazing, but I know there's so much more. So. Yeah, well, well, like any like any area that's that's had a lot of um, um, where buildings have fallen down and people have left. The 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 uh, I think what what I what I would like to see and what a lot of other people around here would like to see is is buildings fixed up, houses mm -hmm. remodeled, other other development stuff built, and maybe and it, it would be great to have like at least one restaurant you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that would there's, be great there's that really not there's really great. not that much right now in the yeah. in, well you in know what in addition to that i mean on the hill on center avenue they're building a shop and save and for like since what south side all the way to center avenue market district that's basically like a really big of a food desert like there's really not a place where they have access to fresh fruit and vegetables yeah. and all this type of thing. So I it's, definitely think that would maybe make a change. It's it's taken a, a long time for them to to yeah. build that. I saw an August Wilson play that where they were talking about uh, they needed a grocery store like in the seventies, right? Yeah. So, that's right. So um, so that that's that's good, you know. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? Now? <laughs> So you, what's the neighborhoods that you would like to imitate for Bluff? Like, what are some neighborhoods that they can look to for inspiration when it comes to planning? Um, I don't think there's any neighborhood that we're particularly trying to copy, you know, mm -hmm. other than the, the, the we, we, we created our own, we started a community group here called Uptown Partners with the idea of trying to have a voice to, to, to sort of guide what might happen here. Um, with uh, the input of all the people that live here, so mm -hmm. so, so um, you know to fix up houses and the right kind of development that would be be make sense for this area. You know to try to get some food, some restaurants, yes. uh, things like that. And then the, the probably the, the one of the nice things that, that's happened here is that the, the Fifth Avenue High School, which was you know a lot of powers that be would have liked to have torn it down has now been um, fixed up into a fantastic uh, um, really beautiful apartments right. and, and and they were filled up almost immediately which kind of proved that people are not afraid to move uptown that's but actually right. is, if there's something nice here to rent they're, they're, they're very excited to, to, to do it so I know because yeah. I was driving past and I saw them. Yeah. So it's I have to I have to I have to feature this. It's just you are the man who made the sculptures downtown, yeah. right next to Mahoney's. The three big musicians. Yeah, the Liberty Avenue musicians. Yes, yeah. Yeah. and it, that is just amazing. I just think that is amazing. So how long have you been doing art, actually? Uh, since high school, oh, you know. Wow. I always it was about the only thing I was good at. You know? <laughs> sort, sort of good at. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I do a lot of public art. Mm -hmm. you know, and I made I made those three musicians here. Oh. That was my first big project, right? Yeah, in those right. doors there. Right. <laughs> and um, yeah, we made them here. And oh, that took, is so Took amazing. them in my little truck downtown. Wow, and they're humongous. And and when we were making them, um, you know, this Gist Street is one of the most popular streets for um, like. The, the guys l love to come and dig holes here. You know, the 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 water people, the gas people, they dig holes here all the time, all the time. You can see, maybe they do that everywhere. I don't know, <laughs> but, but they sure like to do it here. And um, so when we were building the sculptures, you know, making big sculptures is in many ways similar to to uh, construction work and you know, street work because it's a lot of labor, hard, hard labor. And, plaster and concrete and all that stuff. So they used to come in here all the time the, wow. the, and, and, and watch watch us do it. And we, really we were a big amazing. hit with the, with the utility people. Uh, thank <laughs> you. Well, thank you for making this no. bluff look, especially the street, look just about amazing. I definitely do. It's just a breath of fresh air. It really is. Little by little. Yeah, yeah. little by little. And you that's know. all that really. And it's you know. that one person that's always doing it. So thank you, James. Well, thanks for, thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> <laughs>